Okay, let's turn our attention to Canfin Homes. Yesterday, the management told CNBC TV team that there is no other incident of fraud at their branch that's at Ambala, and they have lowered their loan growth guidance as well. Abhishek took us through that interview yesterday. He's joining in with the key takeaways from that conversation. Abhishek? Uh, well, yesterday in trade, after the interview, we saw sharp surge in the stock price as well. And we also have Morgan Stanley, who has quoted our interview uh, on the note uh, that they have written on Canfin Homes. They have an overweight rating and a target price of 1,000 per share. Now, what the management did tell us is that they have carried out checks on all the branches. There is no other incident of fraud uh, in any other branch uh, than Ambala's incident that they had faced earlier. So funds were siphoned off to personal accounts by a staff member and funds were going from a pool account for all the branches with respect to disbursers. So uh, there is no impact on NPA or the provisioning part. Uh, they do not have any issues over there. And now they have decentralized the branches. All disbursers are now happening from the head office only. After the approval uh, comes in from head office, the disbursers are made. Uh, Q3 FI24 disbursers will be flat on a sequential basis and FI24 loan growth guidance has has been lowered to about 15% from their earlier target of 18 to 20%. Let's hear out the management as to what they had to say. This uh, uh, particular incident we did, uh, in fact, we reported also to the stock exchanges and to the investors that uh, we did carry out a thorough check of all our branches. So right from, you know, all our 193 branches, right from the period from April 2021, we carried out this exercise to see if in a similar kind of an incident or some such a big, uh, this thing was there in any other uh, practice was there in any other branch and uh, it was negative. So there was no other such incident in any other branch. It, this was a very isolated incident at one of the specific branches of Ambala. The, the fact is that in this quarter also, we've had a little bit of impact and in, in most likelihood, this quarter is also likely to be a little flattish for us compared to the, um, you know, previous quarter that we've had in terms of disbursement. So current year, uh, you know, these process changes that all we are having might slightly dent our plans to go for 18 to 20 percent disbursement growth. We might probably end up around 15 percent. But uh, going forward uh, in the long term, at least I am quite positive that we, we will stick to our target of 18 to 20 percent, but not this year. So it's not uh, something which will affect our NPA because this was purely, you know, there was no asset to back it up. It was purely funds which were there in the account were siphoned off to personal uh, accounts. So there is no asset to back it up and it's not an asset fraud. Uh, it is ba basically cash defalcation. So in, which, in that sense, there is no NPA which will be impacted because of this. The NPA which, uh, um, you know, would have been impacted only in, in the event of uh, asset fraud. The pure write-off uh, or a pure, uh, you know, provisioning that we have to do, which we have already done. We have taken the 100% hit uh, upfront in the second quarter results itself for their entire uh, amount that was uh, identified. Okay, well, the stock had fallen uh, quite a bit and uh, the management clarifying on CNBC TV 18 from a high of 840, I think uh, yesterday's low was, uh, what, 730 odd rupees in just, what, uh, four trading sessions. And then, I mean, the management yesterday on uh, CNBC TV 18 clarifying some of this stuff. So uh, that's uh, Canfin Homes.